These rear axle frames are made for VW Phaeton and Bentley luxury cars. The Metalsa Germany production line is running at full capacity. Only seven years ago, the plant was part of a family-owned company that went broke. A private equity firm stepped in but failed to get it going again. Then, two years ago, Mexican auto parts supplier Metalsa came to the rescue. This company had core competence that would allow Metalsa to offer its customers top quality. We were primarily interested in its close contacts with the premium segments like Audi, Daimler and BMW. Metalsa's biggest German plant is in the small town of Bergneustadt near Cologne. After years of uncertainty, its 1,300 employees are now hoping the Mexican owner will secure the future of the plant. So far, their experience has been positive. They didn't just roll over us and try to impose their Mexican corporate culture. Instead, they took their time and observed what's going on here, how we work and how the German market functions. Then they made decisions. They created functions and structures, and they invested in our long-term success here. Metalsa invested 50 million euros in new equipment like presses and laser-cutting machinery. And they've promised to invest an additional 40 million. Employees have agreed to go without wage increases for now, the negotiations were tough, and the Mexican parent company implemented new international work safety standards that are much higher than they were under the previous ownership. Step by step, we're getting to know German corporate culture and how it's different than in Mexico, not only at the employee level, but in plant operations as well. We've integrated our procedures into the operations from the old company, but we always look for practical solutions that benefits everyone and will implement them at all Metalsa locations. The Metalsa plant is by far the biggest employer in Bag Neustadt, population 12,000. Local residents are happy the old plant is still running, no matter where the new owners come from.